Fifty years ago, none of those moments had a place in the world. The Women's Tennis Association had to be richly imagined and boldly built. In order to get the proper recognition, we needed a vehicle in which to perform. For a worldwide audience that had to be pushed, pulled, inspired, rewired, satisfied, and gratified. Are you an angry woman? Are you angry about some things? But in 1973, it did take hold, and the WTA gave rise to a multitude of lofty imaginings. There followed more female athletes, Annika off the tee, Danica down the speedway, Mia and Marta on the soccer pitch, Peekaboo and Lindsay gliding down slopes. They just kept coming. They just keep coming. Look around now. Extraordinary competitors are everywhere. Strong, smart, gutsy, worthy. When you look back, you realize that this movement was never just about women in tennis. And it was never just about women in sports. What we are talking about is a revolution. The surpassing vision of the WTA was for the whole world to change. And change came. All I knew is that I didn't feel tennis was right. We are a part of Women's Lib in that we've created an opportunity for women of all ages to at least try to make it. The enduring dream of the Women's Tennis Association is universal inclusion where we can all be a part of the same community, one where everyone is free to come in or come out. And maybe there's still a long way to go, but look how far we've come. <laughs>